Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I asked you all on my Instagram account a few days ago if there were any questions you would like me to answer. So I have them written here on my phone, and I'm going to go through as many of them as I can. Where are you from? I'm from Maryland, but I currently go to school in Pennsylvania, but next year I'll be going to school in Florida for graduate school. And the next question is, what do you study? So right now I study rehabilitation science and Spanish, but next year I'll be going to school to study physical therapy. Have you ever thought about naturopathy? I honestly don't think it's a very big career here in the United States. I feel like it's more of an Australian thing almost, but no, I haven't. I've actually really wanted to be a physical therapist for a very long time, so I'm pretty set on that career path. What are your study routines? How do you focus and motivate yourself? So I've definitely learned that the way I study is by repetition. So I like to rewrite my notes and make outlines and study through flashcards. Um, I have a very concrete system that I do before every test. But because I'm a pretty busy person, my study schedule can vary. So honestly, I just study whenever I have free time. And for how do I motivate myself, I feel like I've chosen activities and career paths that I'm very passionate about. So for me, I always find that I'm motivated to get my work done because I think of the bigger picture and how I can eventually become a physical therapist or how I can possibly cause more people to become vegan through the things that I'm doing. So for me, that's the mo all the motivation that I really need. I don't know. And, and I think that... Um, and I'm genuinely interested in cooking and veganism and the field that I'm studying. So for me, it's kind of fun to study or to create content for you guys. But yeah, I think that's some good advice, though. If you find that you're doing something and you're really not motivated to do it, you don't see a reason why you should be doing it, maybe look for something that genuinely makes you happy and that's a career path that you should be following or that's the thing that you should be focusing your energy and time on. What do you do outside of food blogging in school? Well, I am a full-time student, so I'm taking a full course load, and my classes are pretty challenging, and I think that there actually is a lot more time involved in Instagram and YouTube than people realize. Like, you have to come up with ideas, take your photos, edit your photos, edit your videos, etc., but I genuinely love it, so it's not like it's a burden for me to do. In addition, I also have a part-time job as a waitress at a restaurant on my college campus. I also go to the gym five to six times a week. I'm a very active person and other than that I'm probably just relaxing or trying to get in as much sleep as I possibly can. Don't worry I still get my eight hours a night though for the most part. What would your ideal day look like? I feel like this is a really hard question because I'm the person who really likes simple relaxing days where it'd be so nice to curl up with a book and just sip on a mug of tea but I also really like adventure so I think it'd be really cool to you know like go out and climb a mountain so I think that I would want a combination of the two so maybe start out with a slower morning you know relax in bed eat some banana ice cream read a book cuddle with a soft blanket and then like go out and have an awesome hike in nature and maybe see a waterfall or go swimming at the beach or something like that. But I'd also want to be doing it with my friends or my family because experiences are a lot more meaningful when you share them with people that you love, in my opinion. What is your love life like? Well, um, I have had boyfriends in the past, but honestly, I'm not really looking for one right now. I'm a pretty busy person. I'm happy with where I am in my life, and I feel like I'm growing more as a person. And when the time comes and I want to share that with someone else, I'll be ready if they're ready for me. Okay. How long have you been vegan, and were you a vegetarian before going vegan? I've been vegan since this past July. I actually decided to go vegan on my birthday, so it's been just over seven months actually that I've been vegan but I was actually raised vegetarian so I've been vegetarian for about 21 years um, if you guys would like more specific information on that I can do a sort of more in-depth video about why I decided to become vegan so let me know in the comments below if you want me to film a video about that do you get any criticism for being a vegan honestly I feel like I really don't get that much when I was growing up and I was still vegetarian, kids would kind of tease me every once in a while, but I also feel like maybe I've just become more used to the comments because you still get those comments when you're a vegetarian. People still tease me every now and then, but uh, it's really not negative or they're really not like, deprecating. 
me and my lifestyle choices. It might tip for anyone who asks you in a demeaning manner as to why you're vegan or sort of attacks you is to just play it completely cool and like it's normal because hopefully it eventually will become normal. But you know, don't act like you're high and mighty or you're better than them. But I just like to explain in a very honest manner be like I'm against animal cruelty I do it for health reasons I do it for a million other reasons and it's my life and it's awesome because I feel like if you're more relaxed about it it causes people to actually be more interested in it and more open to the concept as well are you HCLF or a high carb low fat and yes I would say that I am um, I feel like most vegans are though because vegetables and fruits are predominantly more carbs but I do keep my fat intake lower just because I find that it makes me feel healthier and more energetic and just overall better. Do you have any vegan friends and do you find it difficult to go out to eat with non-vegan friends? I do have vegan friends but I'd say most of them are through the internet but I also think that's a great thing too because it's still a supportive community. Right now I only have one friend who lives close to me who is vegan but I actually met her through social media her name is Amanda we actually went out for brunch this past Sunday to a vegan restaurant but yeah if you see someone um, on social media who lives near you you should definitely shoot them a message because they're probably really friendly and really eager to meet other vegans too and you never know maybe you'll become great friends and as to going out to eat I really don't think it's that hard. I feel like most of my friends are pretty considerate and they know I'm vegan so we go to places where they'll have a vegan option or I also love to cook so I like having my friends come over and cook for them as well. Did you gain any weight when you first went HCLF vegan and was it easy to lose? No, I didn't really gain or lose any weight when I went vegan. Uh, weight loss has never really been my goal. If anything, I'd want to gain more weight um, so I could gain more muscle in the gym. Do you support freely and how do you feel about people trying to spread the vegan message and how it should be done? Um, I doubt freely even knows who I am, but I do support her and I think that what she's doing is good for the vegan movement. And in terms of how veganism should be spread, I think that it's good that we have a wide variety of sources sort of doing different things. So like Freely and Durian Rider and some of the people are maybe more abrasive or more blatantly truthful and call other people out. And I think some people do need that sort of more shocking information um, in order to help them convert to veganism. But I also think it's really important to have people who do it in a more relaxed and open friendly sort of way. For me personally, I do think that you attract more flies with honey than vinegar as the saying goes, even though honey isn't vegan. Um, but I think that it's important to be kind to other people and show them how awesome veganism can be and lead by example as well as leading by actions and speaking out against it. But also like in terms of the internet, I don't know, if you don't want to watch something and you think a person is offensive, you have the option not to watch it and you have the option to watch people who are more about spreading the positive message and don't call people out. How many calories do you eat on average every day? I honestly do not know because I don't count my calories. I am a very active person though, so if anything, I make sure I'm eating enough calories to fill my body. I've been eating intuitively for a while, so I feel like I know what amounts and types of foods I need to eat in order to feel my best. Um, but I will say that I definitely eat a minimum of 2,000 calories a day, and it does vary from day to day, but as far as a maximum, I really don't know. Like if I'm horrible with numbers, but if I had to guess, it'd probably be around like 2,200 to 2,500 every day, but some days I'm more active, so I eat more, and yeah. I really don't think you should be worried about calories. I think you should be worried more about the types of foods you're putting into your body, making sure you're eating a whole foods, plant-based diet. Have you ever had an eating disorder? No, I've never been diagnosed with an eating disorder, but I think like most teenage girls, I did struggle with how much food I should be eating and the proper amounts of portion sizes and, you know, wanting to look thinner. But... But honestly, I think the things that helped me the most with that is one, learning to love myself, and two, honestly, going vegan. Because with this lifestyle, you just learn that you can eat in abundance and you can eat tons of fruits and all the carbs you want. And it's just energy and it's going to fuel you to live an active lifestyle and to go out and do the things you love. And I think everyone should be focused more on loving themselves and accepting themselves as who you have and putting the best things possible in your body, aka fruits, vegetables, and all vegan food. <laughs>
What's your favorite dinner meal? This is hard because I do love sweet food, but I actually really like savory food as well. But I'd say my current favorite dinner meal right now would probably be a chili stuffed sweet potato with lots of fresh spinach and some jasmine rice on the side as well, with plenty of sriracha and nutritional yeast. Do you plan meals ahead of time or are they spontaneous? It depends. So if I'm working in the evening, I do plan meals ahead of time for that. I usually cook in bulk and then divide the food up so I can just take it with me and I don't have to worry about cooking, especially if I have a really busy day. But if I have the time to cook, I am more spontaneous. I just listen to my body and what I'm craving and see what I have in my pantry and usually just whip something up with a combination of that and whatever I have in my spice cabinet. Do you ever drink coffee? I actually love the taste of coffee but I cannot drink it because I don't drink any caffeine and my body is just way too sensitive to it and I feel like absolute crap and I get super jittery. But I do drink decaf coffee occasionally, just purely for the flavor. But yeah, I personally don't like to feel the need to have caffeine or other sorts of stimulants in order to feel my best when I can just eat plenty of fruits and vegetables and get energy from that instead. When do you eat dinner and what is your last time of the day to eat? Um, I usually eat dinner between 5 and 7 p.m., but that's definitely not my last meal of the day. I prefer to snack a lot during the day and in the evening as well. So, honestly, the last time of the day that I eat, I don't know. I don't think you should have a set time for when you stop eating food. Because if you're hungry after 9 p.m., then you should definitely have a snack anyway. Sometimes I get home from work at 11.30 at night and I'll eat like two bowls of cereal because I'm starving and then I'll go eat something else. And I eat right before bed all the time. It doesn't have any negative effect on me. At the end of the day, you really just need to listen to your body and if you're hungry, then please eat. And if you're not hungry, then that's great. What are your favorite vegan cookbooks or food blogs? Um, I have a lot. I'm trying to think off of the top of my head. I really like the Vegan 8. I think her recipes are really cool. High Carb Hannah also has a lot of cool free recipes on her YouTube channel and her blog. The Minimalist Baker is good for if you want a little bit of a less healthy treat but you're trying to impress your friends or family. Oh, and the Vegan Corner on YouTube, I really like their stuff as well and I think most of it is oil free and pretty low fat. But I'll link all these people below in case you guys want to check them out. Where do you find inspiration for your meals? Honestly, I feel like I get most of it through Instagram. I love all of the accounts that I follow and looking at their food and sort of putting my own twist on it with what I have in my pantry or what's on sale at the grocery store. And yeah. Okay guys, that's all the questions I'm going to answer today. I don't want this to get too long. If you have any more questions, I will try to answer them in a future Q&A video. And I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about me and my opinions. And I will see you later. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,